Hi all, it's foam time again. Gerard Shifting Lens and uh, I want to talk to you today about um, joining walls together. Um, the corners actually. Um, and I want to show you a couple of ideas on how to connect walls. Um, Sounds a bit silly maybe, or a bit strange, uh, but I will show you. I'll come back to the Proxon later. Will not cut a lot, it's a short video. But, um, so I have a wall, imaginary wall, and I have an imaginary wall. And if I put the two together, you will see a seam. It doesn't look that nice, right? And actually, I want to get rid of that. So, just some ideas I want to show you when it comes to gluing these walls together. A very simple one is if you work with a solid block, then you don't have a seam. But um, I assume your buildings are a bit larger and maybe you want to have these buildings uh, you want them accessible from the inside. So, so what can we do? Well, <clears throat> we could actually um, hide the seam by simply adding a column like this. So now there are, sure, there are still seams between the column and the wall, but it's less annoying. Maybe I want to hide a seam by adding a buttress of some sort. There are some possibilities. Sometimes you really want th these two parts to connect perfectly. So actually I should cut these in a 45 degree angle. Very, very precise. So why not try and do it? I take my uh, angle connector tool for this and I will set it in a 45 degree angle. Yeah, I know it's cheating, but uh, I'm a lazy guy, so, and I like to cheat, so there we go. Put that one aside and now I have two sides that are in a perfect that are perfect fitting together in a 90 and forming a 90 degree angle so that's also an option okay so actually that's what the video is about but let me show you some nice examples. Uh, for instance, um, I think this is a good one because here you see, this is, this is a, a solid block, a rectangle solid block. So I went in here and I cut out the interior and I got out again with the wire. You still see the seam here. So I think that's a good example of uh, how that works. And most of the part is concealed by adding this structure. For instance, um, apart from this, you see you can hide your uh, seam. <clears throat> Talking about um, the angles, the end, the end parts of a wall section and placing a column, here you see a few blocks slightly angled, which makes this one uh, looks uh, more interesting. Have to make some texture on it still. But again, that was a practice piece. And same, the same way as this is actually this one, which is also very fun, very much fun, because this is made with the pillar jig and actually uh, a quarter, a 
quarter part is cut out and is now concealing uh, the corner or the size of the wall and I can glue a wall onto here and it's still slightly behind this pillar. So that's also a nice way to conceal uh, a possible seam. Um, another <coughs> nice example is, is a very old building I've made um, where actually I think here you see these buttress walls and if you look underneath I'm not sure if that's visible but it's sheets glued together and by simply adding these little extra layers I can hide it all. Is there more? Well um, it's, it's more of the same more of the same like um, <clears throat> here each wall ends with a pillar with a buttress glued on the side in a specific angle and in that way um, yeah it isn't so annoying um, yeah. well guys um, I said it was a short video it's just some thoughts I wanted to share with you about this little part of builds you will encounter many times if you build a lot if you don't build a lot you will not encounter many times so blah 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 anyways um that's it uh for now because uh i will do some nice work on uh, future projects um but it was time to make a short video so here we go thank you for watching and hope to see you soon bye bye